good morning students in our offline classes we are discussing this chapter methods in our surroundings and here we have done till the effect of temperature on the change of state of matter here we have got about the melting point about the process of melting or fusion boiling or vaporization also we got boiling point we have also got about the latent heat we got about latent heat of fusion and latent heat of vaporization next let us tell about temperature the melting point and boiling point both are two temperatures you have got the melting point is the temperature at which a solid converts to the liquid state whereas at a boiling point a liquid converts to the gaseous state so let us know about the scales of temperature the units in which the temperature is measured very commonly used unit and that we commonly use that is celsius or centigrade and it is expressed like this say 100 degree celsius we write like this 0 degree celsius c for celsius it is also called centigrade this is the expression in the unit celsius this comes in the celsius scale however the si unit of temperature is not celsius though it is very commonly used it is not the si unit si unit of temperature is kelvin it is denoted by we can convert the temperature given in celsius to kelvin it is very simple you just remember the temperature which is given in celsius just you at 273 to make it kelvin say 100 degree celsius this is equal to 100 plus 273 this is kelvin that is 373 kelvin 